Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this is video number four of the JMRI series. Uh, here we're going to talk about setting up our town that our little local switcher is going to switch from the yard and then go back to the yard. So we're going to go to locations. I'm in operations pro. I'm at locations. Uh, you can see we have our three staging yards and the interchange yard that we built in the last video. So I'm going to hit add location and I'm going to come over here. We're going to call it localville. Nice and original, I know, how amazing. Click add location at the bottom. And in this case, we did briefly discuss in the last video uh, that this is only gonna use four car types. So we have boxcar, we have, um, let's see, hopper grain, and we have tank gas, and then we said we had reefer. Those were the only four car types that we were serving. Uh, in this town, so I'm going to go ahead and limit it to that. That way, any train that serves this town is only going to uh, either pick up or drop off uh, those car types. Okay, now we want to put in some spurs. This is an uh, industry spurs. We have four industries in town. Uh, we have five tracks. So we're going to build five spurs in here. Uh, this town does not have yards and it does not have classification interchange tracks and it is not staging. So we're going to leave those out. All right, I'm going to go to add spur track. That brings me with this menu. Go ahead and make this big here. So let's set up um, Box Ink. I know, super original name. Love it. <laughs> In the case of Box Ink, that one is 200 feet long, that spur. So you need to have a name and a length for the spur. So there we go. Set that up. Uh, this one is only going to accept the box car. So I'm going to leave that selected and I'm going to deselect all the others. i uh, going to go ahead and hit save for now. So uh, in this case, I don't mind box cars from other railroads coming in here, so I'm going to leave that alone. But for load types, I'm going to say accept only. And then when it says use car type and load, I'm going to have box car. I'm going to say add empty, add loaded. Now, I did say in an earlier video that we're going to use custom loads. The empty and load, that is the def or those are, sorry, the default loads. So later on when we come in and we actually add some custom loads, which means like, you know, paper or um, what else do boxcars carry? Like everything. <laughs> uh, tools, general goods, uh, print materials, you know, whatever could be carried in that car. The custom loads is where you actually state what the commodity is in the car. And when you create custom loads and schedules, it gives you some extra options. And so that's why I'm going to do those for this route so I can show those. So once we create those, we'll actually come back and change these. But for now, we're just going to say it can take a loaded box car and it can take an empty box car. So it doesn't really matter uh, what the box car is carrying for now. As long as it's a box car, it can get set out at this industry. So I'm going to hit save, which I did. Now notice it says accepts only two loads. Perfect. Okay. Uh, for the routes and the uh, trains, we will deal with that later once we actually set those up. But basically, the only train that's ever going to serve this town is the local. And so I would come in and I would select trains and I would make it where only this one particular train can do sit outs and pickups. But that's going to be in a later video. All right. So for Box Inc., that's it. I'm going to hit Save Spur Track, close it out, and there it is. All right, going to add another spur track. We're going to do this for each industry. So let's go ahead and knock that out. We have next up, let's do Reefer Inc. Super original name. Uh, Reefer Inc. has 183 feet on its spur. So add spur track. We are going to select only the reefer. And in this case, we said that it's only going to accept empty reefers because it's going to be loading them. So this is the loads that the spur will accept. So you're going to bring empty reefers. All right, so save that, perfect. Save the spur track. I'll go ahead and just from the same menu, I will uh, change it up. The next one let's do is Tank Ink. Oops, get a capital there. Uh, tank Ink is, let's see, 174 feet. All right, so add that spur track. Uh, notice these reset because now we're working on tank ink, not reefer ink. So I'm going to hit clear all, select tank. And uh, for loads, we said it was only going to accept loaded tank cars. So we're going to add that right there. So it will not ship any empty tank cars because we restricted it to only take loaded tank cars. All right, save that spur. And then lastly, we have grain ink. Now on our little railroad here, grain ink actually has two spurs. 
They're both about 191 feet. We're gonna call them uh, track one, and then I'll make the next one track two. So I'm going to add this one, select hopper grain. And in this case, I believe we said we only wanted it to bring in uh, empty grain cars. So let's go here, accept only, hopper grain empty, add, perfect. So we're only going to be accepting empty grain cars. All right, I will save that spur track, change this to a two, and we're gonna mimic the same settings. So add spur track, hopper grain only, uh, select loads, and then accept only, use car type and load, hopper grain empty. We're gonna add that and save, okay. All right, let me close out here and let's take a look. So we have five spurs. One industry has two spurs. The other three industries all have one spur. Uh, there are the links. Here are their load restrictions. We can see that every spur has one. That's exactly what we want. We're gonna go ahead and save this location and get out of here. All right, so as far as setting up the town, that is it. Uh, we'll come back later and work on the routing for the trains, but as far as getting it set up, we've got our car types, we've got our loads, we are all set. Thanks for joining in today for video number four. Uh, stay tuned for video number five. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.